Welcome, boys and girls. What we're going to do here in Lesson 2.5 is we're going to estimate quotients. And as we discussed in class, estimating quotients is a little different from estimating products when we multiply. Uh, if you take a look at 342 divided by 7, we know when we estimate that there's some rounding involved before we solve the problem. But the problem is, if we decided to round this to 300 like we would do if we were multiplying and divided that by 7, well, the problem is we're not going to be able to get an answer that goes in evenly here. So what we do is we find something called compatible numbers. And as I taught you in class, what I want you to do is I want you to think of your multiples of 7. You look at the divisor and you think of the multiples of that divisor. And what you do is you take a look and you think of the multiples of that divisor and see which multiple is closest to the first two digits in the dividend. So you look at the 7, you look at the 34, and I know that the closest multiple of 7 to 34 is 35. So instead of rounding 342 to, let's say, 300, we're going to now round that to 350. The 34 becomes a 35, and then this 2 becomes a 0. And now we could very simply divide, because we know 35 divided by 7 is 5, and the 0 that's left over goes in our quotient, and there, our estimated answer would then be 50. Let's take a look at another one. So in this one, we're going to estimate 4,321 being divided into six groups. And like we did for the last one, we're going to think of the multiples of six, and we're going to look at the first two numbers in the dividend, which is 43. And I'm going to think in my head, what multiple of six is closest to this 43? And if I go through my multiples of six, the closest one to that 43 is a 42. So that 43 part we're going to change into a 42. That has to become a 0, and that has to become a 0. And now what we have is we have 4,200 being divided by 6. And if we did 4,200 divided by 6, we ignore those zeros, and we just think of what 42 divided by 6 is, which is 7. And these two zeros that are left over get added to our answer. So the estimated answer of 4,321 divided by 6 is 700. Here's another example. We have 5,429 divided by 8. And what we're going to do here is we're going to think of our multiples of 8 and the multiples of 8 that are closest to 54. And if you go through your multiples of 8 that are closest to 54, you'd see that 56 is the closest multiple. That becomes a 0, that becomes a 0. So we're going to round 5,429, we're going to round it to 5,600. And we divide that by 8, and I know 56 divided by 8 is 7. These two zeros that are left over go into our quotient, and the estimated answer is then 700. But now I'm going to show you something a little different, because now instead of having one digit as the divisor, I'm going to show you what happens when we have two digits as the divisor. So there's a couple of extra steps that you need to do if you're solving a problem like this. If you're estimating and this is now two digits. The first thing that you have to do is if this is two digits is we do actually have to round this. So the 59 would round to a 6. And then like we said in class, all we would really focus on is the 6 part here. And we, what we would do is we think of the multiples of that 6, forgetting the 0 for now. Now if we think of our multiples of 6, we follow the same steps as before, what multiple of 6 would be closest to those first two numbers, which one here is 41. And if you think of your multiples of 6 that are closest to that uh, 41, you would, you would get 42 as that closest multiple. This would then change into a 0, and now we would round that to really 420, and we would divide that by 60. But what's different here is, well, we have 42 divided by 6, which we know is 7. But these zeros, which we would normally add on if we were multiplying, we don't add on when we divide. When we are dividing, these zeros winds up canceling each other out. So 420 divided by 60 actually equals 7. Because if you think of the reverse of it, 60 times 7 would equal 420. That's how we know that that answer is right. So uh, that's the steps you would follow if it's two digits. Let's take a look at another one here. 
Here's another one. We have 232 divided by 28. So now since this is a two-digit number, I'm going to round that to a 30. And now I'm going to ignore the 0 for a second and focus on the 3. And I'm going to think, just like we were doing with the single digits, what multiple of 3 is closest to that 23? Uh, the multiple of 3 that's closest to that 23 is 24. So really, we're going to round this to 240. That last place becomes a 0. And now we have 240 divided by 30. The basic fact, 24 divided by 3, equals 8. But since there is a 0 here and 1 0 here, they cancel each other out, so we do not add them to our answer. This way, the estimated answer is 8. We'll look at two more examples here. So we have 1,565 divided by 67. So since this is a two-digit divisor, we're just going to round that. And then we're going to focus just on the 7 and the first two numbers here, which is 15. And I think what multiple of 7 is closest to that 15? And I know that's 14. That has to become a 0. That has to become a 0. And now I round that to 1,400. And I'm now dividing it by 70. I focus on the basic fact of 14 divided by 7, which is 2. Now this one's a little different from the other, the other ones. This 0 here will cancel out one of these zeros. But this zero here doesn't have any other zero to cancel out in the other, in the other side, in the other number from the divisor. So since this zero doesn't have any other number to cancel it out, any zero to cancel it out, that gets added to the answer. And the answer, the quotient, the estimated answer becomes 20. Because again, if you think of the reverse of it, 70 times the 20, 7 times the 2 is 14, we add our two zeros on, it gets us that 1,400, which was our dividend. Try one of these on your own now. Press the pause button and you can solve it, and then press play when you're ready. So now what I would do is I would round this to a 90, and I would focus on the 9, and I focus on the first two digits here. And I think in my head, what multiple of 9 is closest to that 79, and which would be 81. So I would round 7,973 to really 8,100, because now 81 and 9 are compatible. We used compatible numbers to round that. So since this is 81 divided by 9, I know that's 9. This 0 will cancel out this 0 on this side. Since this 0 doesn't have any other zeros to cancel it out, it gets added to our answer, and our estimated answer would be 90. I hope this helps. Uh, thanks for watching.